Tabiha says, must we stop doing everything and listen and answer the adhan? Otherwise, we won't be able to say the shahada on the day of judgment. What is the reward of answering the adhan and reciting the prescribed dua afterwards? This is one of the common uh, misconceptions that people have. And that is, they think and they believe that when the adhan is given, everything has to be halted. So if you are working, you should stop doing whatever you are doing. And if you are, uh, for example, um, uh, speaking with someone, you have to refrain from talking. If your head is uncovered, if you're a woman, you have to cover your hair. All of this is baseless. The worst of them all is those who say that if the adhan is being called and you're talking to someone, on your deathbed, you will be deprived from being able to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. And this is totally baseless. And it's prohibited to mention such things without authentic evidences from the Prophet's Sunnah alayhi salatu wasalam. Otherwise, you'll be lying on Allah Azza wa Jal by introducing such lies and baseless uh, claims. Yes, when the adhan is given, the sunnah is to repeat after the mu'adhin. So when he says, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, you say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. When he says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, you repeat that. Ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah, you repeat that. Hayya ala salati, hayya ala salat, you say, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Hayya ala al-falah, the same thing. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, that you repeat that. La ilaha illallah, you say la ilaha illallah. Offer salutation upon the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. And then you make the dua, Allahumma rabba hadihi al-da'wati al-tamah wa salati al-qa'imah. Ati Muhammadan al-wasilat wa al-fadila. Wa ba'athu Allahumma al-maqam al-mahmood al-ladhi wa'atta. And if you add, and this was in al-Bukhari. And if you add, innaka la tukhlifu al-mi'ad. This is also authentic. And you may say, رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّنْ وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِالْمُحَمَّدٍ رَسُولًا As Allah is satisfied with you when you say these dua and you will gain the right of intercession on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet will intercede alayhi salatu wasalam for you on the Day of Judgment, among other things. So this is authentic. But to claim that shh, you don't speak when the adhan is given, if you are a carpenter, hold your hammer and put it down. Don't work, don't do anything, don't eat. No, this is all not from the sunnah and uh, it is baseless.